Cage Warriors is back in the fighting city of Liverpool with no less than two Cage Warriors world title belts on the line. The Liverpool Echo Arena is the venue for one of MMA's most eagerly anticipated showdowns. The vacant lightweight title is up for grabs with local hero Paddy the Baddy Pimlet aiming to delight his fans by becoming a two-weight champion. As Paddy the Baddy Pimlet and Liverpool's Echo Arena prepare for the Viking invasion, we have another welterweight bout for you. Roberto Alategri takes on former UFC fighter Nicholas Dolby. Undefeated UFC welterweight, the fighting pride of Liverpool. Please welcome Darren Till. Bem-vindo. Obrigado. Que prazer. What a pleasure prazer to have you here. Você também. I believe you've just been to Brazil on holiday. Yeah. How was it? It was boss. You can hear the boos around the arena for Soren back. It is going to be intimidating for him. Now, he embodies that Viking spirit. He wants war. He's here to take gold. And he's never been submitted, has he? No, and that's fascinating as well. And, you know, he's such a tough, durable guy. I think we might have to clean the canvas after that one. I think Ooh. something with some elbows thrown in that one. Well, our fighters are almost ready. But before we begin, let us remind ourselves of the rules of the cage. Three judges score the contest. Bouts of three five-minute rounds. In 2016, Jack Marshman became the first Welsh fighter to sign a UFC contract. His addition to the roster meant every country in the UK had now been represented in the UFC. History was made when Marshman made his debut at UFC Fight Night Belfast, and his spectacular performance that night still stands as the most memorable moment of his career. My debut in the UFC was uh, November the 19th, 2017. You came in confidently to the UFC, great fight against Dominic Steele as well. But then after that, a lot of people were questioning your high-risk aggression, shall we say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How did you feel about that? <laughs> that's always been something that's kind of like, it's, you know, it, it plays against me as much as it plays for me. A massive change in mood here at Echo Arena. Let's start with the first round, a rear naked choke that we were shocked that Zoran got out of. It was unbelievable. I'm not exactly sure exactly why he didn't finish it. I mean, it looked like he was right under the neck. It looked like he had a good squeeze. Let's go back to last year. Three fights, three wins, topped off by a spectacular win against Cowboy Cerrone. Yeah. Do you think he underestimated you? And Graham, that's exactly what he needed to be prepared for, wasn't it? 100%. To echo exactly what Dan said, to how Soren got out of that first round is just beyond comprehension. Thank you so, so much. Thank you. Great talking to you. I'm afraid that's all we've got time for. You've been watching UFC Connected. Stay in touch online using the hashtag UFC Connected. We'll see you next time. Bye.